hello guys welcome to my channel and in this video i'm going to show you that how to print hello world without using printf okay in c as you can see i have this program and if i compile this and run this it's just going to print hello world but i'm not going to use printf now okay i want to change this program and i just want to remove this thing here and just remove everything and this time i will use this mysterious function right and i'm going to give some mysterious arguments like one and i'm going to type hello and here i'm going to again a mysterious number five which is basically in the number of bits okay so one two three four five not bits bytes okay so one character is one byte so that's why let's just save this and let's just try to execute it again and it's going to give us some warnings but we don't care about warnings obviously okay so let's just run this and again we printed hello now the question is that what was this thing right and why we used it and why printf is not something which i'm liking because printf is bloat no not really the thing is that printf is a function which is provided by gnu c library and it's a wrapper function it provides us some extra functionalities but in reality under the hood printf runs right but why we don't get access to write because write is a deeper level system call what is system call well every time we want to use some system kernel functionalities we make a system call okay because in the end of the day when we write some programs like print a program in order to just print hello we use our computer or our program to make a system call because in the end of the day kernel is the hero kernel do everything so when we you know send some signals to some server it's the kernel who is doing everything we the programmer the application programmer just get some wrapper functions like printf to you know just make some low level system calls like a write so if i see the main page of write so you can see that write is a function which write to a file descriptor now the question is that can you understand this man page i don't think you can because it's so complicated i don't even know what file descriptor is this is something so confusing and this is why people created printf because it's more easier for an application programmer to write printf instead of write okay because if you want to write write then you have to read about how linux kernel is working what our file descriptor and blah 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 which is very important by the way so in this video i just want to teach you some system calls so we know printf and we learned about write that we can use this system call which is a lower level system call which is a function which is provided by kernel to do some things inside like to use some kernel functionalities but there are some more and we can read about this by using man and then two for uh, you know just because when we read something about kernel we write two i don't know this so read is like for scanf so write for for printf read for scanf and read will read from file descriptor now again we are coming to this file descriptor thing and that's why i will make another part of this video where i will explain you what is file descriptor is so after that video i actually want to make another video which will explain you that why in linux everything is a file but in this video we are just going to understand that what are system calls now we understand what is system call now what we are going to do is we are going to use this program s trace to trace all the system calls in our command which we run okay <coughs> sorry for that so let me go to uh, code wide directive uh, here i have this file file.c and let's just get this out so this file will you know open this hello.txt file and let me delete this hello.txt which is pre-existed and then it's just going to close this file and isn't that savage like it just opens the file it closed the file it's like a sigma okay sigma opens the file do nothing and then close the file so funny now what we are going to do is we are going to obviously compile this thing and run a dot out but before that as you can see there is no hello.txt file so let's just you know run this a dot out and do ls so we got our file a, you know hello.txt now i want to know like how it happened okay what f open actually did and in order to because in the end of the day this file is created by the kernel okay the programmer just get the sense like he's doing the things but in reality the programmer is just a stupid guy who is just you know using some kernel syscalls okay 
So let's just use this program S trace to investigate. I, I, I like to call it, you know, Sherlock trace, but in reality, it means it's, you know, if we read the man page, it's trace system calls, okay, also signals, but let's ignore the signals. So whatever you write after S trace, whatever the command, not just my program, but anything, S trace is just going to tell what system calls this command or program made. Okay, so let's just press enter. And here you can see lot of garbage and you, we can just ignore all the garbage. Okay, because most of the garbage which you are looking here is not by our code. Okay, it's not my fault. It's something which is required for all the binaries to execute. Okay, so for example, this thing exe cve. This is the first system call which this program created or make. Okay, not created, make so exe cve and this is just for executing a program okay so this system call executes the program referred by the path name so uh, in this uh, you know you can read about the function that it will require the path name and then some other arguments which is basically which uh, you know sometimes we pro provide some arguments after some you know program like flags or something so after this we it made a lot of you know garbage like not not garbage it's a pretty important system calls which is necessary for running the program which we wrote uh, which is uh, present inside the binary but the thing which matter is this is called because this is something which we did okay we made this this call via our function f open so i used that f open function which is a wrapper function created by gnu c uh, you know, see people. Okay. So, but inside the hood, the kernel provided this, uh, you know, routine in order to create the file and let's just read about it. So man to open it. So this is the syscall which we use and we can read that open, open it or create these syscalls will open or possibly create a file. Okay. So basically, we use this syscall via you know f open function which we you know use and as you can see it returned this integer 3 now what is th what is the return value we can read about return value too so return value is basically on the successful open open it or create it will return a new file descriptor so what is a file descriptor you must be wondering that's why i will make another video on error it will be minus 1 by the way, everything in Linux and Unix is a file and this file descriptor have a lot to do with it. And I, I can't just wait to tell you what file descriptors are and how actually our computer prints Hello World because there are so much to learn from just a stupid Hello World program. So here you can see the basic idea which I'm trying to explain in this video is that when we open a file, we use this syscall and this is it. Like this is the thing. Now what I want you to do is just create some programs or run some commands like ls or chmod okay and s trace it okay so for example if we s trace ls uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that you, you can see that it's trying to write the files which are present in my system okay so for example it's printing this image if I do ls here so you can see these are the files so we are making some syscalls okay and so ls is making some syscalls so if you use chmod or anything basically we make syscalls and you can use s trace to see what syscalls a program is making and then you can read the manual of that syscall you can read the manual of you know write or read and you can see the return value and you can learn about syscalls so you will be more you will get more better understanding of what is happening under the hood and maybe then you can write your own gnu c library or something like that own wrapper function you know own printf how how cool is that okay uh, in the next video i will teach you more about linux like how uh, things work under the hood and i will explain to you why people say that everything in linux is a file because there are a lot of great stuff which you know which i know and i just want to deliver to you from via this channel and i will also give you some you know good documentation and guides in order to learn so but that's it for this video again okay? and uh, you know we will in the, on this channel we will get into socket programming and networking soon because i i can't wait it's so great like i'm learning a lot these days and i just want to document it via videos okay so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel